Hello everyone, welcome back to Geordie Paranormal Society. Today it is myself, James, and this is my dad. And we're reacting to 10 scary videos proving what science ignores by Goose Pimples. We are indeed. We haven't seen this video. I know it's a year old, but um, we haven't seen it, so hopefully it should be interesting. Should we get to it? Yep. Let's go. Number 10. Haunted Streets. After getting a notification on her phone, Reddit user Momento Mori 1031 checked the security camera just outside her house to see what might have triggered it. Little did she know that her camera had captured something that would leave her shocked into disbelief. I think I've seen this on a different channel. It looks like it comes out of the shadow because it gets bigger. The footage show what seems to be a pale apparition of someone wearing a Look, wedding dress. Look, it gets bigger at the bottom. You want to? It gets bigger at the bottom, what? like it, it, it Down there. extends. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, it definitely looks like a head. Head, gown. It's, it looks like a silhouette. Maybe it's a of hand. A person. Yeah, because it looks darker there, so it looks like something's covering it as well. Yeah. So it's making it darker. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen it, but I think there's a few videos that are going around like this that are caught on cameras and they look very similar but that's good so far should we continue yeah while wandering ominously through the night now Strange. we've seen our fair share of home cctv footage to recognize a spider web near the camera lens mm -hmm. and this is definitely not the case nope. but what do you think this reddit user captured that night camera glitch cheeky video editing shenanigans or something far more sinister let us know your thoughts in the comments. Number mm. Thoughts? Scary meter? Well, like the scared meter, don't we? Zero. Yeah? Zero. What What if it's just a person walking by and it is a camera glitch? Could be. Also, but do you not find it strange that somebody's walking like that across onto your drive or your, your, your lawn? There is something weird I noticed when it was like far across. Its legs were moving very fast. Like they were going up, moving, and then s like stomping. Well, I didn't. Really like they know. were moving quick. Okay, I didn't really know what was That's any of that. the one thing I didn't really understand how the speed of them, the movement. Yeah, I think because it was caught on camera, I would say it was a two. Because it's not very spooky when it's on a camera, mm, is it? There's no encounters. No. No one's talking to it. Yeah. And it's not any violent but then again it might get you paranoid to uh, check your cameras more often mm -hmm. yeah but yeah mine I would definitely say it was a 2 yeah um I'm a 0 or 1 <laughs> you're being a hard man now <laughs> mm. brilliant alright should we uh, continue yeah. with the next 9 Shadow Weirdo. Shadow Weirdo. TikToker Dom did live a relatively quiet life. That was until something seemed to make itself at home in his humble abode. He started to notice some subtly strange activity at first. Doors would be swinging and things would go topping off the shelves, seemingly by themselves. He cycled through every rational thought and theory, but everything seemed to scream paranormal activity in his head. And worse yet, he believed the supposed entity to be feeding off his fear. Oh. Engaging with the spirit using a positive approach was supposed to ease the tension within the house, but it only made the activity ten times spookier. Take a look. I think I've saw there this guys, one. Home from what? I think I've saw this. Probably. I mean, it is a year old, so we might have seen it on a different channel or something along those lines. But yeah, first time watching for on Goose Pimples. Mhm. Mm Continue. Yeah. Work. Yeah, I was reading through your comments. Of course, I already got this happening. <laughs> got this door creaking, moving once again. Stop. I said stop. Kitty? Oh. Kitty? Stop. I said stop. Alright, look behind the door. Check behind the door. 
Check behind. Door. Check on top. Spirits, this is enough. I said above. stop. Animals have always been rumored to be able to see the afterlife, and this kitty seemed to see red as well. But even after these weird cat versus ghost antics, he seems to keep his confidence up and continues communicating with whatever has joined him in his home. What do you think about the cat running and jumping? The cat I'm not really sure about, because it runs through, the door closes, and if you look at it, when he comes through, it looks at him, then looks directly back at something. Like, it looks at him, then locks on something. Mm. So, I'm a... Right now, I'm a three. Okay. Because we all know that cats can see stuff, don't we? Mm -hmm. Especially our cats. We've experienced it. Our cat just started doing this. Yeah. It's crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll we'll have to tell that in one of the ghost story videos. Yeah. So check out our other videos called Ghost Stories. You might find that video on there sometime soon. Should we continue? Yeah. Ready to sleep. Finally listened. Stop. You need to leave. This is my home. And like clockwork, whenever he goes to investigate. You need to stop. This is my home. There's nothing there. Like always, nothing. Stop. Turn it off. Can't get the sleep. click. Thank you. Now leave. What was that? Turn it off. What was what? Either that, either there was a reflection, or one little tiny eye was looking through the door. Which door? The one at the back? Or? That, that one where yeah, the light like, is shining on right now. So down here? It looked like up here. It looked like a white thing turned, then turned back. Okay, shall I rewind it a bit? Yeah. Was it when it was dark? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say it was a reflection, because okay. it's very bright. But it's, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Thank you. Uh, I think that. I'll leave. Yeah. Yeah, if you look when he's, it's, when his camera it's when goes. when his camera's moving, so yeah. I was just unsure about it. Debunked. Debunked. Let's move on. Carry on. Yeah. Turn it off. But what was once just doors moving on command, or lights going on and off all night, soon turned into a living nightmare. And that's when he managed to capture this. Speaking of life, I got this reading right here. I'm trying to focus on it, but it's kind of hard when you got this going on. Stop. Stop. Yeah, I've saw this. <laughs> That's Daddy used to wake up in the middle of the night when you weren't born, and you can ask Mammy that very similar thing used to be standing in the room. Where, like, like the bottom of the bed. So I used to have a fish tank in my old house in my old bed, bedroom, and it was at the bottom of the bed, the fish tank. And there used to be uh, an extension cable at the side of the bed, and it used to glow because I had like a light on it, like a, a switch. So when yeah. it was on, it would glow red, orange. And I used to wake up at like three o'clock in the morning, and then look at the bottom of the bed, and that f just a black shadow figure was standing at the bottom of the bed, and you could see it because it would block out some of that light from the fish tank in the night. And even mummy seen it a few times as well. Oh. Yeah. And that was like, comes and goes. Can I say something that I don't believe about that? What don't you believe? I know, I know some ghosts are like silhouettes. That, it looks like it has no arm. Because look, 
Well, well, it I can see it comes shoulder. out, yeah. but... It could have its hand tucked it's, into its... Yeah, like into its pocket. Is what, I, what was I telling you about shadow figures? No features. Yeah. No nothing. It's just... That, just that one, I'm not really sure. I'm finding it strange, because it's... It is weird, so but... similar to what I've seen, but the one that I've seen didn't have its hand on its side. It had its hands out. So you, so you could, could see, see full arm. You could see the arm, yeah, you could so see the arm. The thing is, I wasn't even looking at that. I thought that was what it was looking at. That's <laughs> I thought it was just like a person curled up. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was at first. And then I looked up and I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Should we continue? Yeah. Oh, see why does... Oh. No, it gets me. He, he turns around the camera, then gets up. Yeah, I know obviously it's a scary moment. You don't know what's going on. You're a bit sort of flustered, so you might not be the best cameraman. But always when it, like, points at something for a second or so, it, you always think in your head, it's a cut. Mm -hmm. It's a cut. So somebody could have been standing there in a morph suit, and it's cut to a different scene, and they're gone. Yeah, because... Let's rewind it a second, just he, see if it... He get, does it freeze? If it freezes, it, it's a cut. Well, I don't probably. know if it freezes, but it just... Let's check it. Let's see. Oh, you could see it move. Does it freeze? I don't know. You'd have to check it frame by frame. It's still interesting, though. I would say... He doesn't guy. seem as scared, though. Who the hell was that? Sure, the He's way Dom slipped well. his camera to the ground. Hmm? He's handling it well, because he's not, like, leaving the house or anything. Well, he's telling it to leave. I know he's sort of used to the experience, but he's not used to seeing it. And having sort of things move, doors close, open... That would be quite scary. It's freaky, it's scary, but it's nothing compared to seeing something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that if you see that, next then level. it is next level. And usually, technically, well, not everyone, but some people would freak out a bit more, you know what I mean? And, but he seems yeah. to be quite chill. Calm. I'll just rewind it slightly because uh, Goose Pimples was saying something about the camera fl flicking down. Let's see what he says. Sure. The way Dom slipped his camera to the ground as he got up. Who the hell was that? Sure, the way Dom slipped his camera to the ground as he got up was a little sus, since it left plenty of room there for a sneaky jump cut. Yeah. The orbs, though. Very commonly associated with paranormal activity. But what do you think about all these creepy videos? Orbs can be quite Is often... Is Dom living with a... Sh dust? Yeah. You've got to be careful with, with orbs. You've got to look at them and movement of the orbs and all that sort of stuff, because... If it's just floating, they could just ninety nine percent of the time. It's there might be dust. be dust on your ceiling, and then it just falls off. Well, not the size. He's obviously sitting in in, in bed. There's a line of bed. He's moved, so he's disturbed fabric, which can in turn kick up dust. So that could very well be what that is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've caught orbs where I've went hundred percent. That's an orb because of the way it moved. moves. It changes its direction and l just looks intelligent. Whereas, can I, can I say one that I don't think you noticed? What's that? As soon as that orb dropped, mm -hmm. it did look like dust because it had a little flick. Right. But one shot across the floor. Well, it could be. Could very well be. Mm -hmm. Should we continue? Yeah. Cool. Shadow Man? Or has he got the internet wrapped around his little finger? Number eight. Black. Spook meter. If you've seen that in your bedroom, what you're doing? Over then running with your fists up. Just eyes closed. Eyes closed, fists up, running. Probably knock yourself out in your wardrobe or something. Yeah, just run to the wall. <laughs> Scare me that. That one's a. Uh, I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna say four point. Really. Three. See, I cannot see you holding your nerve for that life, but you never know. I might. Yeah, you might. I'm gonna say four because, as I say, when I when I when I seen it, it took us back to it actually happening. 
And to be fair, I think the first time I seen it, I was freaked out. And I'd be like, what's going on? And then it would be gone, it would disappear. Like what happened there. But the times that it continued to happen after that, I would just look and I'd be like, oh yeah. And then I'd go back to sleep. So yeah, it was like, you were used to it. To it. Yeah. So I'm going to say four. Four? Yeah. I'm, p I'm point two above you. Yeah. Hearing noises again. Oh yeah. Mm. I'll have a listen back when, we, when I edit the video. Right, shall we move on? Yeah. Past from the past. If you've been binging our scary compilations for a while now, you probably remember Magnus Madsen. He moved into his own house, okay. hoping to leave his old life behind. But something from his childhood home seemed to follow him and make itself comfortable. Items moving on their own and floating orbs are pretty standard in the new house and the activity became so common that he set up cameras everywhere to prove he wasn't going crazy. But since the last time we featured him, things have become even creepier. Take a look at this scary video he recently posted on his TikTok account. My house is still haunted. After a long time, something finally happened. Why well, when you walk past the camera move a bit? Yeah. Pro probably it's dragging a draft behind him, and then it just shakes. Mm. The but it, you would expect it to move the other way, where it moved to the right a bit. Unless he's just checking it, just to make sure it's got everything in frame. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Let's continue. See what happens. Bend. It really scared me this time. Power cut, I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, because there's a reflection of light. Yeah, good spot. Very, very good spot. Worried about the whole scenario he found himself in, he began recording his staircase as he could hear a strange. Not convinced. Yeah. Don't know why. Mm -hmm. Tellies can be manipulated using other remotes and so on and so forth, but. I know it's very hard because you know we've we've been on investigations and you've just not had the camera right or you've not had the camera out and something's happened and you think if I tell people they're not going to believe us, yeah, you know. But, but if you look at the blinds, it's not all in on the shot. Yeah, but there's one thing I don't get. What's up? His reaction. He he falls onto his table, pushes it down, then falls on the ground. Yeah. I would be quite scared in that, but I wouldn't get be that scared to jump on the ground. Right. So yeah, I think he overreacted a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Should we continue? Yeah. Knocking coming from that area every night, but after only two days of recording, he caught something that left him considering moving away. Imagine going to bed every night thinking that at any time your front door could open by itself. It's pretty wild. Wait. I used to, I used to hear that in again the old house. Rewind it a sec. I think I saw someone standing when the door opened, but not like standing tall, like crouched down a little bit. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll there. That looks like a head. That's the door open though. Yeah, but you can see Sorry, through, so that looks like a head. See. He's pointing this out. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's let's watch because it's slow. Uh, it obviously increases the volume. Let's see. Imagine What's going next? to bed every night thinking that at any time your front door could open by itself. Would you stay? Let us know in the comments section. But perhaps it's time for Magnus to pack up and find somewhere else to live. I don't that's think that's the ghost's anything. house now. No. Number seven. It's zoomed in. It's shown it properly. 
And Excuse it me. doesn't look like much. Yeah, it's missing it, half the door again, as usual, missing half the door. Um, you're not seeing the whole frame, you're not seeing everything. And there's no interaction, yeah. really. You know I what mean, I love? Do you know what, do you know what clips I love? What? When it's a TikToker or someone that has nothing to do with the paranormal. Like, every one of their videos has nothing to do with the paranormal. And then a random weird Just video. A random thing happens. Yeah. So I, I find those ones quite good. Because there's no reason, well, unless I want to do it for clout, get more followers, bring more people in for one video to go viral. I don't know. But I always prefer those ones. Loud bangs. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What's your scare meter for that? Scare meter for that. Two. Probably a one. I'm mm. not. I'm not convinced by it. Yeah, because. If it was legit, I'd probably say. A three. Yeah, because I've had stuff in the houses where they've been moved, they've been thrown about. Yeah. You know, you can see things moving and stuff, but. We've experienced. Av. Me and you have experienced some things just flying, weird things happening, and yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? Right. Should we go on to the next one? Yeah. Frightful felines. If you're a cat owner, you know that sometimes your furry friend can slink off and seemingly vanish off the face of the earth. But surely that can't happen literally, right? Well... Have a look at this and decide for yourself. Yeah. That cat isn't just going for a stroll. It's visiting the shadow realm. A lot of these... No. Camera That's glitch. Just, it's just the camera. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, like, the lens is just not properly... It happens quite a lot with these nests and ring doorbells and so on. You know, where, because obviously, it's it's the bandwidth that they're running through and they're going to sort of remote servers and they've been saved on servers compressed it's the compression and everything it just doesn't pick you know things up as as, as properly yeah so yeah that's definitely a, a compression issue and it's that's not paranormal yeah uh, it's cool it's interesting you know. it's it's cool to see just things like disappearing but it's also I, I get very hyped up thinking that like they're actually disappearing, but then you probably review it and it's just a compression glitch. Yeah, never mind. Uh, let's see if there's any more to it, shall we? Yeah. Security camera videos do seem to show familiar types of footage, with figures slowly fading away on screen. But how could this security camera mess up that badly? Or where the hell did that cat disappear to? Let us know what you think. Number six, ghost room. When this guy. How are we doing, Rain? Are you? Zero. Cool if it was traveling between the realms. Zero point two. <laughs> Zero point two. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going into decimals now. Mm -hmm. Like low decimals. Mm -hmm. Roger. Right, I'm going to rewind this one just slightly so I can get back to where it was. And Should we continue? Yes. When this guy moved into his new apartment, he probably should have checked the history. Because if you move into a building erected in 1932, odds are it's haunted. At differing times of the day, a specific door gets hammered when nobody else is inside the apartment. But there's something sinister in that house. Oh, I've seen this one. Don't tell us. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything at all. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me! As if the violent knocking wasn't enough, something is lifting the cross off the wall. And if you thought the banging was coming from somewhere else in the apartment complex, take a look at this. So it seems to be wanting to happen now more in the afternoon. Just to prove that there's nothing there. 
Jesus Christ. It only responds when the door is flung open, but every single time he checks, there's nothing there. Creepy, isn't it? Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook. What do you think? Hmm. I'll let you go first. I quite like it. I don't know why. I'm trying to think how it could be faked. If you could just put like, I remember for Halloween once, I put a speaker behind a door and pretended it was zombies trying to get in, so they were banging, and it sounded as though they were banging on the door. Could it be that? Could he be getting close to the door and turning it off? And he's opening it up. You hope not. Yeah. Because I think, if I remember rightly, there should be more videos that make it a bit more weird. I'm just going to say something. What? What are you saying? If it's the door getting hit, because it said the door was just getting, like, absolutely hammered. Yeah. That must be quite a hard hit to... Because the door was, like, over here, then the wall was here with the cross on it. So that has to be a vet like a very hard hit because you punch the mat that's true then it's going to go through the wall and knock yeah. the cross off well that's true because obviously you don't see any strings or any i don't really understand how that would actually be faked no either either you've like got a very hard hit or that's paranormal certainly right should we continue yeah Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. Same for us, people. Don't number five. Don't forget sinister stitches. Right. So, what was your rating for that one? There was, from memory, there was more. Yeah. But obviously, it wasn't shown. Honestly, for that, I'm gonna go with a four. Four. That's fair. I'd probably say four as well because, as you said, it's quite quite powerful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If it isn't fake, it's if, quite a powerful. If it sort is of a spirit, band. that especially if it can knock stuff off the walls, mm -hmm. stuff that's hanging, and especially a cross. If it's a cross, then you think, oh, is it a bit just, demonic? Is it just nasty? Just like the conjuring, it turns upside down, but then it gets knocked off. You shouldn't know anything about the conjuring. <laughs> hey, should we, should we continue? Yeah. Right. So four and four for that one. Yeah, four, four. Worker, you'll know how heartbreaking and strange it can be. Someone you spent almost every day working next to is suddenly gone. But for the people working in this garment factory, their workmate may have passed, but she doesn't seem to be gone just yet. The factory manager began installing security cameras after they suffered a burglary, but the cameras began capturing the unexplainable instead. Boxes and mannequins would move on their own while the factory was empty, leaving the workers shaking at the thought of going back to work. They couldn't think of anything that could be causing it, until they saw this. At first glance, this is just a standard spooky clip, but an interview with the manager revealed something heartbreaking. A woman named Miss Tanaka worked at the factory for over 20 years and was well loved by all of the other workers. She passed away a few years back and was sorely missed, but almost as soon as she passed, the haunting started happening. At Can you imagine if you die and the only thing you want to do is go back to work? <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? I'd be the opposite. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit sad, isn't it? It's yeah. A bit, a bit sad story. But that that really shows that she liked that job. Well, she obviously did. She obviously loved it, especially if she was there for twenty years. Yeah. You know, it's quite. There a... for twenty years. May that may grow. Yeah, it's just the same. I mean, it could be one of those hauntings where you're sort of trapped there, if you know what I mean, where you died unexpectedly. That's the thing but, that you've been doing for the last 20 years. and Yeah, like you're trapped and you can't leave. Maybe. Hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully it's just, you know, visiting. Liking. Just liking it there. Yeah, like a visit visitation. Might just be calm. 
Could be. Yeah, well, do you want to continue? We shall. And the sewing machine that went off on its own was hers. Is this a message from Miss Tanaka? Or is somebody conducting some fancy camera work? What do you think? Let us know. Number four. Spook meter. Um, I'm going with what Go Goose Pimple said. Ca camera work. Like someone's edited that. Oh, so you don't think it's real? Nope. Because mm. you've got to think. It was going crazy. But why would you fake it at a place of work? That's just a f like a, a fabric place. What, what have you got to gain? I mm. mean, it's publicity, I suppose, but... It's a hard one, isn't it? Because you don't know. You don't 100%. know if it's actually a spirit or. Some things are easy to fake, but I'm gonna say that uh, in between. So, like. A two, I would go with on my scare meter. Two, yeah. Um. Three. So, two, three? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You know. I'm not sure about that one. I think that one could be legit. As yeah. I say, I don't think there's any... It's got a... It's a 50-50. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Very true. Should we continue on at number four? Yes. Cool. Dolly Daydream. What's a Goose Pimple scary compilation without a hearty dose of creepy doll videos? And this one is next level. One day, while cleaning out his garage, this guy found a Gwendolyn doll stuffed under a load of cardboard boxes. Now that's creepy as it is. But as soon as he put her inside the house, the lights started freaking out like crazy. Stop! Remy. 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 Stop! Stop messing with the lights. Elijah. So At like first, he thought it was just a bit of electric failure. But the activity didn't stop at that. But Days went by. But he said kids' names? Yeah. So did he think it was his kids at first and then maybe an electrical file? Um I think oh. it would be quite hard to do that with a light switch. With lights. Yeah, because you've got to think, how fast is that going? Yeah. It's quite hard to do a light switch that. Well it depends quick. on what light switch you've got. Like ours are cl clicky ones, I don't I think it would be yeah, but quite also, tricky to try and get it in. I don't think you could do even do that with a light switch. Because did you see how they were doing it? Oh. One would turn on, both would then turn on, then both would turn off. It would be like one both off, I know one what you both mean. off. Yeah. Strange. Should we continue? Yeah. And strange things kept happening throughout the house while he was at work. And he managed to catch creepy moments like this on camera. So I get off work and uh, <coughs> this is what I come home to. <laughs> would be cool, but I'm um, alone and there's nobody here, except maybe Digi, Digi did you run the bath? Do you think the dog's going to light some candles and run himself a bubble bath? Yeah, just, just you see a little dog with a, just, yeah, that'd be funny. just paddling in the bath. Why not? I know, he looks like a pump at pooch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Were you gonna take him? What the fuck? Nah, I don't think it was a dog. Either that dog has an invisible maybe, maybe giant... Maybe a telepathic dog. <laughs> he just... Yeah. Turn on. Mm. That was weird. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, did you see anything that could have const... Like... Being a cut? He might not have properly blown it out. He might have blew it out and it went out for a few but seconds. But what turned the tap back on? Wait, did the tap go yeah, back on? Yeah, the tap's turned back on the tap's running. So you can't really... And fair enough, if it happened to one candle where it, like... Where it just one may have lit, lit itself back up by, you know, the smoke and a spark or whatever. Mm -hmm. But three of them. Is there three of them? Yeah, three. Let's see if it a replays it. A small one, a medium one, and a big one. Let's see if it replays it, because then... We can see if there's any like cut, possible cut times. Oh, don't think his dog did that either. 
dog just slam on the door. Did he? After getting sick of the activity plaguing his life, he began to suspect... No, should we ride it or should we just carry on? Carry on, but... I didn't see any... There's something weird. What? The dog ran when he opened the door. Yeah, it jumped off the map. It, it slammed shut. The dog must have just been lying there because it... You watched it look like in one frame. You watched it get up and then move yeah. as he opens the door. Mm, true. Let's carry on. The doll might be the root cause of it all, but when he told his audience that he might get rid of her, something terrifying happened. <laughs> Take a look. Sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, son. But um, like the the weird stuff started when I got her when I got her out, right? Uh, so like I, I think I just need to you know, put her back. Do I just get rid of her? Uh, it's a, ah! Did it bite him? I don't know if it bit him or burnt him. Did did you hear the, like it blew up and then it went mm -hmm. So I think it bit him like very loud. I can't say I heard that, so let's rewind it slightly. Just listen very carefully. Okay, let's have a listen then. Ah That was his voice. It was his voice going ah Looks like she isn't ready to leave anytime soon. Well, if you look where he had her, he had her around the waist, so I don't think it was like a bite. Yeah, but you've got to think, what if it was like supersonic, like... A flash doll. Fla the flash doll. <laughs> Alright, oh, right, let's continue. Yeah. How the hell did the wine glass shatter out of nowhere? According to him, the hand holding the doll was burning. But what do you think? Is his house really haunted? Or is he really good at pulling tricks? Let us know your thoughts. Ah! Number four. Right, what's your thoughts? Scare meter? Scare meter seven. Yeah. I'm probably going up there because it just involves a doll. And I hate dolls. <laughs> also, if this is nothing to do with a paranormal, but why would you have that doll? Just why? Well, yeah. It looks absolutely scary. But I don't think that's fakeable. A glass blowing up, basically. It would be hard. And, yeah, well, we don't know this for sure that his hand was burning, but it would be quite hard to fake, like, a just a burning hand from holding a doll. Yeah, but then... You're just going off his word for that, so... Yeah. But seeing a glass... Seeing a glass, seeing a glass just explode... Yeah. ...and go into tiny pieces, that's high. Yeah, that's That pretty. puts a, like, a three on my rating. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool, cool. Should we move on? Yeah. Really, proper farewell. Proper If nothing farewell. else convinces you to chuck that Ouija board down the drain, this scary video probably will. Back when he was a child... Brandon Castonin was laying in bed during a Halloween party his parents held. Obviously, the night wasn't complete without some drunken communication with the spirits. So the adults... I had a Ouija board when I, when I was young. I made one. Yeah. Out, out of cardboard. I think I was like 12, maybe. And I drew one out of a big, big piece of cardboard. Just coloured it in, all that sort of stuff, and blah, blah, blah. Never worked, but then it went missing. Just disappeared. Just mm. gone. Gr Grandma, Grandma, adamant. Nope, wasn't there. They didn't throw it out. My mom promises that she never threw it out. But yeah, just went missing, disappeared. What if it did work, but in one very weird way? What way? Whenever you use it, it just disappears. Disappears. It's still floating somewhere. <laughs> you just look up and there's a Ouija board floating above you. Yeah. Should we continue? Yeah. ...decided to conduct a Ouija session late at night. There was one problem, though. They never closed the session. To close it, you Rookie need to move. move the planchetta to say goodbye. 
but it was cast aside instead while the party continued. Mm. Since that night, Brandon's father believes he opened a portal for something to latch onto him, but it looks like he wasn't the only one caught up in the mess. Brandon moved into his own house decades later, finally ready to live a life without fear. But it seems like something followed him. After multiple attempts to catch the activity on camera, he managed to record this. That was. It just a little, little. Just like there. Mm -hmm. Looking around. Yeah. I, I was watching and then I just saw like a. Bl was it black hair? It looked like that. White, like, whitish face. Yeah, like black hair at the top. Yeah, I only caught it when it. When it moved. When it moved, basically, yeah. Yeah. Freaky, yeah? Mm-hmm. At least it didn't look f like uh, <laughs> the one on the last video. The massive eyes. Mm. Yeah, should we continue? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds scared though. Mm -hmm. Really? Nothing there. See, wait, I'm gonna go back a sec because, like, I didn't in, probably in, see it. Yeah, we know we now know where it is, but I didn't see anywhere where that could have cut. I don't think. Also, was there a light in the window when he turns to it right before well, he turns? Well, there might turns? be a light in the window because it might be reflecting, but. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see, point it out. Alright, he's already seen it, so we'll go back further. It's there! Oh, wow! Did you notice that? What? It is actually there from when. So when he opens the door, even a little while after, when he pans the camera that way, it is actually still there. Still? And then when he pans it back. He can see it's, it. He can then see it, but, but it's, it's it there. So I'll watch it, I'll watch. See it? Oh. So it's, it's, always, it's always there. Hey, come on. Don't want you. Do you know you I mean, if it was a cut there, it was a really good cut. Yeah, see that? That reflection's just here's light. Not in the window. Right mm. now it would be on his right. One sec. What? There was a window and it looked it looked like an either a reflection going very close to the lens or an orb appears, doesn't move, then disappears. I don't know. It's so he Do walks. Do you want to rewind it? Yeah. He walks he should walk through the door and then he turns. Tell us where. Tell us where. Right, it should be like here. Right, so this is it comes out. There. The, it was there. A uh, giant orb appeared. Yeah. I think did I he, did see that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I've seen an orb shoot down. Yeah. Well, it'll be like a second. Then and there was a few like... A flicker. Yeah. Okay, let's put it back for it. It goes blurry here. And continue it. I love it when it goes blurry. I, I always feel when it goes blurry it's because something's just in the way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's between like it's you and... it's right there. Yeah, well, not specifically right. Well, yeah, it could be, but like it's just something is... That you can't see is there. Just like basically standing for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because I've had it before when I'm in investigations and you're trying to get it to focus and it's just an absolute nightmare at times. You've yeah. got to zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, trying to get it to focus and sometimes it just doesn't do it. I should continue. Mm hmm. <laughs> 
Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look closely at the bottom right corner of the screen. Someone or something is hiding behind the wall. Oh, I just got but when he dimples. goes to investigate, Dang there's it. nobody there <laughs> and nowhere for anyone to hide. The ghastly white complexion and what looks like long black hair is enough to send yeah. anyone running uh, for that spare I brown pants. The black hair, but I didn't know Do you the think white his father's skin. drunken mistake followed him into his new home? Or is this a clever bit of acting and editing? Let us know what you think in the comments. Num Spook meter. Mm. Scary factor. I'm not really sure. The, the person, it looks like a little child. Because yeah. of the height. Yeah, but that's not always a good thing. Hmm? It's not always a good thing when it comes to kids because sometimes ghosts do not pretend to be children to give you a false sense of security. Yeah, um, but did he have anybody else there? Um, In the house? I don't know. Like, if there was anyone with him, they might have closed the door by accident and then he's walked to it it's just closed in his face and he's went Ooh. yeah do you want to tell everyone you're not as short as that oh yeah because like you're, you're, you're sitting on the floor nearly you know you kind of keep still can you nope <laughs> you gotta move about <laughs> left right upside down I'm surprised he hasn't started doing his handstands yet you know what i mean <laughs> just <laughs> just literally watching it upside down yeah well what would you say your number was oh uh what was yours again? I hadn't said yeah, mine yet. Oh, what's yours then? Hmm. See, I think if I'd seen, yeah, I'd, oh, yeah. If I had seen, if I had seen someone peeking around a corner looking at me, and I was on my own, I would probably say a four for that. But then <laughs> a four. A four. You would absolutely. You, uh, no, but then what? Walking to a door. Then it's slamming basically on your face. Yeah, to keep you in that room. That, that would send us straight to a 10. 10. 10. Yeah. I would That's say, my highest rating yeah. out of the videos we've done. I would say an 8 if you're on your own, yeah. That would mm. be me. 8. So basically 8 to 10. Yep. Sounds good. Should we continue? Yeah. Number 2. Paranormal Pots. You could probably say a trip to the dispensary could leave people seeing all sorts of things. That's what this guy thought while he was working his shift at a dispensary in Oregon. That was until he watched the CCTV footage back after his shift. I think I've seen this. Is that the tips? It could be a it tip It looks jar. like a tub of tips. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. That's no trick of the mind. But the thing that makes it even spookier is that the shop used to be used as a pharmacy years ago, meaning many sick and dying people set foot inside the building throughout history. So if the history is pointing to a haunting and the footage is pointing to a haunting, is there a chance it could be anything else? Let us know your thoughts on this one. Number one. What's your thoughts? Thoughts. I'm gonna go with a four. Yeah, I think four is quite good one because it's it's cool poltergeist activity, isn't it? Yeah. And I might do a cool meter for that one. Yeah. I'm gonna say cool meter five. Okay. And scare meter four. Scare meter four, cool meter six for me. It's weird seeing. Well, we'll just say a tub of tips. Yeah. We'll just say that. Yeah. Like just. Slowly moving, then tipping over yeah. continuously. No pun intended, eh? Mm. Tip tipping. Tip tipping. <laughs> yeah, I would say cool factor six because I think. What if, I, what if I, the ghost was one of the tips? Maybe. Maybe trying to get his money back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's six is cool because like when things move around, I quite like that. When it's non harmful or non nasty movement. I think that's it's quite good, quite, it, quite cool. Yeah. It's only when it's like horrible, you know, yeah. like it's violent. Yeah, if it starts lobbing knives out and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Should there's we, yeah. there's one where it opens, the forks and the knives just start Flick flying up, see, out. Yeah. Should we move on? Mhm. Mm Number one, last one. Two and fro. Yep. While enjoying the sunshine one afternoon, 
This group of people noticed something really weird floating around in the house over the road. I've seen this, this is good. Watch the window. See it? Something shot past. That and again. Again. And again. She's seen it there. She's like, nope, I'm out of here. What in the fresh hell was that? Thinking it must be that's that's traveling some speed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not to, exactly a dog because it's to, a tall dog. To shoot, shoot. Yeah. You've got to think. It must have a little bit of energy, like a little, little bit. Yeah. Because. To, to run that fast and that many times, it's... Well, I don't think that's, like... Humanly possible. Humanly possible for the size of the house. If you look at how much run-up speeds you would need. Think, if it was there, and then it, it just ran that fast, it would probably yeah, either well, yeah. go into the wall yeah. or wouldn't even go yeah, that fast. Yeah, I think you're going that fast, you're definitely hitting the wall. Either going through the wall or into the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Should we continue? Yeah. Their neighbour, one of them goes to check it out, but she sees no it, one answers the door. I love door. it when she sees it, watch. Yeah, that thing keeps oh, speeding back like, and forth. I am aware. <laughs> Obviously, they try to rationalise it. Maybe it was one of the kids who was just running around, even though it looked like a tall figure. Very tall. Or maybe someone was messing with the curtains because they didn't watch. want to be seen. It's but taller when they her. called yeah, their neighbour to double check if they were okay, yeah. she said the house was completely empty that day. And she had no idea what they were talking about. So, imagine. if nobody was home, who was running to and fro? Can you imagine being shown that footage? If you were like, no, no, there's nobody, you, in, nobody you, in my house. Right, Danny, imagine this. I'm going to put you a little scenario here. Scenario, yeah. That's your house. Right. You're, you're having a barbecue outside. I'm selling and moving to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> no, carry on. Right, so... Yeah, just having a barbecue outside, and then you turn around for a split second, and you see that figure run past the window. What would you do? Me, I would be oh, no. calling the place I bought the house from and asking for a refund. <laughs> asking for a refund, <laughs> brilliant. I don't know what I would do. I'd have to go and check it out just in case there was somebody breaking into the house, and you know. You just some. Someone with the Crocs on in sport mode. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Should we play the rest of it? I think it's going to finish now, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a m not even a minute. Yeah. Either there's something really wrong with this woman's curtains, or there is an uninvited guest running curtains. laps through the house. Curtains. Have you curtains seen this scary this. compilation full of creepy stuff caught on camera yet? It's perfect. All right, what would you say the rate of on that last one? Rating on the last one, hmm. I would say a uh, nine, because no one got into contact, like, no one touched it or felt it. Well, it was just... Or really got into... There was no reason for interaction. it. Interaction. Yeah. I just don't think there was any reason for it, because obviously if they called the neighbour and said... Asked them about it and they confirmed that nobody was in. But that thing is running so fast and it hasn't been sped up because obviously you still see that lady walking across the street and the dog's, yeah, she's, dog's running. She's everything just going else, like normal. Yeah, everything else is normal but speed. The thing is, I don't understand why someone said it's the curtains. Yeah, I don't just understand. curtains going like 500 miles an hour. I don't know. Yeah. What are you rating now? Nine, did you say? Yeah, nine. Nine. I'm gonna cool say, meter, I'm going to say 10. Because that's quite cool to see something that fast going past your yeah, window. I would say 8 for cool and scary meter because it's not my house. Somebody else's and I'm recording from a distance. Just say, I'd probably say 5. Yeah. It is creepy. But yeah, well that's that's uh, that's what done, isn't it? Yeah. I uh, hope everybody watching has enjoyed. Remember... To always like, subscribe, hit that notifications bell to see our newest videos and 
there will be more of these every single week. Yeah, we're hoping to get one of these videos out every week, as well as different types of videos. We've started a ghost stories uh, series as well, which we're going to try and get one of those released a week. And hopefully, obviously weather dependent and everything else going behind it, but we're going to try and also get out for an investigation um, every week, whether that's a professional investigation to a location or whether it's just to to an abandoned place close by. We, we will we will see but um yeah i just want to thank everyone just as james has done like subscribe drop a comment let me know what you think and um, be critical if you want you know if there's anything that we should do differently or, or or if you think it's fantastic let us know drop a comment please i'll be much appreciated it would be nice to beat the youtube algorithm and help the community and help the channel grow so thank you again from me yeah well, hope you enjoyed, and yeah, thank you for watching. Good night. Take care.